That's fine. At a fifty, number zero zero six. at the Clark Air Base in Pampanga for the arrival of two more brand new FA-50 lead-in fighter jets of the Philippine Air Force. These new arrivals bring the total jets of the Philippine Air Force to six and it's a huge deal for the airmen because it marks the country's return to the supersonic age a decade after they retired the last of the U.S.-made F-5 fighter jets. These FA-50s are capable of carrying short-range air-to-air and air-to-surface missiles. The moral of the Philippine Air Force is very, very high. Of course, uh, siguro matagal na natin itong uh, pinapangarap na magkaroon ng mga gantong capabilities and it's now nakikita na ng buong Philippine Air Force, not only the Philippine Air Force but uh, I think the AFP and the whole country is really very proud na talagang nagkakaroon na tayo ng ganito. Slowly, nabibuild up yung capability natin. They were acquired under the previous Aquino administration, one of the two big ticket items intended to boost the defenses in the West Philippine Sea. The other one we're looking forward to are two brand new warships for the Philippine Navy. The FA-50s, which started arriving at the tail end of the Aquino administration, have not been known to be deployed to the disputed seas as the new administration seeks to shelve territorial disputes with China. Instead, the jets first saw action in central Mindanao, where they were deployed to conduct airstrikes against local terrorist groups linked to the ISIS. The airmen are celebrating and have been hearing repeated over and over the soundtrack of their favorite movie, Top Gun, here at the airbase. Six more fighter jets are arriving within the year to complete the squadron of 12 fighter jets. Carmela Fonbuena, Rappler, Pampanga.